What's up guys, I'm coming back at you with another deck profile. This is a Kaiju Cyber deck, rank 8 kind of deck. So, I'm just going to get into it and explain sort of my choices and all that jazz. So, you got your three. Jizukiru. He's a Chimera Attack target, mainly. That's all we really use him for. Then we've got Thunder King. I'm going to be replacing that with a third Gamma Seal once I get a super set. And then Gendala, because it's another rank, it's another level 8 for your rank 8 plates. Then that's all the Kaijus that we run. Then we do run the three. Cyber Dragons, obviously, if it's not at three, you're playing it wrong, honestly. Apologies. Then we run the three Cyber Dragon Dre. Move those to the side. Then we've got three Cyber Dragon Zve. And then three Cyber Dragon Core. I'm not running Toon Cyber Dragon because it's not a Cyber Dragon. It's not simply it's not a cyber dragon itself. So I can't use it with from the main deck I can't use it with Cyber Repair Plant. I cannot get it summoned off of machine duplication or Inferno Reckless Summon sort of just a couple of things from the future. And I can't use it with the effect of Nova, and I can't use it to summon Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon, or Twin, or Overdrain. The reason why I'm pointing that out is because recently, on loads of people's deck profiles, whenever somebody shows this, or Zvi in any number, they're always complaining about why they're not running the Toon Cyber Dragon. Because it's an extra Cyber Dragon special summon. That doesn't matter. It's not a Cyber Dragon, it's not the name that we want. In the Cyber Dragon deck, you constantly want the name Cyber Dragon. The only reason why... Um, where is it? The only reason why it's kind of nice to have the Cyber Dragon monster requirement and that is just because you can clog with them in hand and you may not have a Cyber Dragon in hand and you may not have one of these on field. So that's the reason. So just don't try and say it. So if you don't know what they do, obviously, this special summons itself, this um, makes all cyber dragons on field level 5. This is a cyber dragon in the grave as well. That's all it really is useful. As well as it can make its name cyber dragon if you reveal a spell card. You may think though, but your opponent may be siding mind crushers, but they won't be. Not in this format. Last sort of era, the Necroz era, the reason why people were running um, Mind Crush was because of Necroz constantly searching and uh, all that kind of jazz. So nobody sides them anymore because it's such a slow card. And revealing a spell card is fine, really. You will have spell cards because half the deck is spell cards, to be honest. So there's nothing bad about that. And then Core is your search card for your search card essentially so that's that then we only run two more um, monsters in the form of Maxi beautiful ulti I know um, there's nothing really to explain we're in a special summon format so if you've got this in hand and your opponents and it's your opponent's turn uh, you can't keep these straight and it's your opponent's turn, you can easily just pop this off, pop this off, and get at least a 1 for 1. Because, you know, in this format, even if you do maxi your opponent, 
it's not going to stop them from going off. So you will, if you resolve a maxi, you will probably get two, three cards. So we've got Power Bond as well. Sort of uh, obvious pick for Cyber Dragons. For a Kaiju card, we've got Interrupted Kaiju Slumber. Because it's essentially, if you don't know what this is, as you can see, destroys many monsters on the field, then special summon in attack position two Kaiju monsters with different names from your deck. That's essentially just a dark hole that can summon two big monsters. Well, when I say big monsters, your opponent's not going to have that monster for too long. And then in the when it's in the graveyard, except the turn that it was sent, it can add you a kaiju monster. So it's also a cyber repair plant, essentially, from the grave. Speaking of cyber repair plant, we run three of them. Again, the text of if cyber dragon is in the graveyard. Toon Cyber Dragon's not a Cyber Dragon in the graveyard. So, obviously, this adds um, light type machines to your deck, from your deck to your hand, but its second effect to add a light type machine monster in my graveyard to my te deck is a bit more relevant now. It's a bit more relevant because you want to be recycling your, your Jizakirus, you want to be recycling your machine dupe targets, so your OG Cyber Dragons. You want to be doing that more than ever, to be honest. So that's why it's a bit more relevant to have the second effect. My last build only ran two of these because they did clog, but this version, I feel clogs less because of its, its actual ability to use both effects and be able to profit from both effects going off and nobody really talks about the second effect all that often because it's you know it's not particularly useful most of the time but if you've got two or three if you've got two uh, cyber dragons in graveyard and you activate it you can just make this live again which is another problem that I have is once you once you've gone through one your second one isn't live, really. You can use it again if you draw into it before you draw that Cyber Dragon. And then get a free just one Cyber Dragon. <clears throat> Pardon me. But that's not really that great. It's always nice to be able to do the activate this card and then special summon two. Because it's more formidable as well. Then obvious back row removal is obvious but without the uh, cost. I do run a Twin Twisters, it's just that I prefer to be able to clear back row without any full issue of ditching from my hand sometimes. And I might even cut um, Twin Twisters from the deck entirely. So then we've got obvious OTK card is obvious. It's This is my tech, I used to run it at 2 but obviously I don't anymore. It's good, it's your third machine dupe. And it's it's mon essentially it's monster reborn on crack. It's it's beautiful because you just fill the field. You don't care what your opponent summons because for all you care about, your opponent could be summoning like I don't know. And if your opponent has only got a Jizakiri or one of your kaiju's and they don't run kaiju's, they're not getting a summon. They they get to summon nothing. Yep. Yeah, so you can you put a full field of uh, cyber dragons on, and you can make a rank five, and you can you know you can scoop up for a big big beefy chimera tech, and it's great. It's great. Twin twisters. I I'm contemplating removing this, just because this kind of clogs, but because it does sometimes come in useful, because we don't run the uh. Galaxy soldiers anymore. It's useful to have at least one discard outlet But in this one because we run kaijus instead of a bigger sort of light type machine uh, With more discardables uh, It's kind of better to have it at one Then we have instant fusion Which I'm also contemplating taking out of the list because you don't run many rank fives. You only run two different rank fives with different names 
and you know you you do go into them often, but it's not really often enough to um warrant a card dedicated to it. I mean, you could argue that you I could just run one galaxy soldier and save my life points. Then we've got a foolish burial, just because, you know, sometimes you might have a machine do play in hand, but no core. And then we got one day piece, because burn damage negation is fun, and really useful. Right, so then we got the extra deck. I'm going to be doing it in a weird order, and my OCD is actually killing me for this order. So, yeah, um, we've got, for first, we've got the number 38, Hope, Harbinger, Ty Dragon, Titanic, Galaxy. Oh, that name. Um, if you don't know what it does, uh, during either player's turn when a spell card or effect is activated on the field, you can negate that effect and then attach it to the card as XYZ material. So that's useful against things like pendulums and monarchs when they try to do all that kind of stuff, or domain lock queue, or other good, good stuff like that. Or if they try to bloody fucking storm forth you. Fucking hell, this is useful against storm forth. Anyway, uh, then the second rank eight I run is a Lancelot Dark Knight of the Underworld. This is only temporary because I'm going to be replacing it with the grind with um, giant grinder because I feel that that is such a better card. Uh, this card has got inbuilt protection, not for itself, but it can negate a spell trap or monster effect. But emphasis on only negate, which is why I would take it out and replace it with giant grinder, because giant grinder is a machine. I do believe it's a machine, and it's also a dark as well, it's rank 8, and it's not a nasty super. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, it's also, pop it, that card also pops cards, so it's pop special some of the monsters and potentially can burn. So I do really kind of want an offensive card and a defensive card, so yeah. Oh, I forgot about the second effect. Second effect you won't usually get it off, but it's actually really good. Because if your opponent destroys this before they destroy another XYZ material, uh, XYZ monster, uh, sorry, destroys an another XYZ material before monster before they destroy this, you can make this or any other XYZ monster on the field gain the attack of the destroyed monster. So, potentially, because of what I run, potentially, this could be 55 a 55 piece stick and it gains it permanently so that's kind of cool so those are the rank 8s that we run then for the rank 5 stuff we run the one Volcosaurus because it's Volcosaurus there's no reason why you shouldn't really run this card but I do think I might take it out I don't know it's kind of it's floating around my head, that's, let's just say that for that, so. Then we have the obvious double Nova and double Infinity, because you make this card out of the wazoo. And even if this, even if this deck doesn't stay as a rank 5 focused deck, I'm always going to still run two of these, because you can make them really easily. Then we go for fusions now. We run two Fortress Dragon because Fortress Dragon is obviously really strong against. Obviously, you've got the normal Cosmo matchup where this is kind of broken. You can just goop up Dark Destroyers, but obviously, you've got your Jizakuru, which it's that's just strong in, in itself by being able to take away your opponent's monster and then take away what you've given them so and then go into a rank 8 so yeah that's why we run that then we've got the two rampage dragons because we still want to OTK 
we really still love OTKing in fact. And then for the rest of the fusions we run the Panzer Dragon, the Cyber Twin Dragon, the Over Dragon, and then the Barbaroid, the Ultimate Battle Machine, which I recently got an Ultra, which is really fucking beautiful. Really nice. I do love old Ultras, uh, which is why I've got this in because it's a nice beautiful ultra and I should be getting this replacing the super but yeah you've got um, the cyber twin and this to summon off of the core uh, not core the nova if that dies before you can get your infinity out and you can summon this obviously you've got if you've got a back row clearing card you might want to summon this over this because just because a bigger attack per hit rather than you know it's just yeah and then obviously you got your instant fusion target so you know it's just options it's just options if i had a th although if i had a third fortress dragon which was the same rarity uh i would take this out and have three fortress dragon i will be sliding the third just because I feel that you don't you don't always go into this, and plus I'm only running two rank eight, so two is fine. That's kind of it, really. Uh, I don't really have any, much more to say about it. I've been rumbling for a while. My voice is going dry. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to be making some gaming videos of, right after this. And I hopefully will get some sort of, hopefully soon I'm going to meet up with some friends just for some casual duels. I've got locals coming up at the end of the month and I pre-ordered a box of Dragons of Legend Unleashed. I won't be opening it on the channel because um, I didn't, obviously I, I didn't get it from Chaos Cards which is just because my friend wanted to uh, share. So, we're going to locals, we're going to open that box. I will, when I do my locals haul, or whatever, I will show you what I've got, what I got from the box, and what I wanted to keep. But yeah, um, that's all that I'm going to really go into for this video. I do hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys next time. We'll see ya.